Good afternoon, Clayton Stuffelbeam here. Today we're at our Central Illinois PFR Research Farm in El Paso, Illinois. We're putting in one of our last soybean studies, happens to be our closing wheel systems trial. Today we're testing the Precision Plantings Furrow Force right here versus the standard closing wheels and solid rubbers. Also in this trial are the Ag Focus Fast Track Closing Wheel Systems. Both it and the Furrow Force here are two stage closing wheel systems, but this one happens to be a little bit different. It's adjustable by the 2020, which controls it, and it's got a, a module back here and a couple load pins in the system. As the pressure changes or the ground changes and fluctuates, it will adjust this airbag on row to row control. And as I pull up here, you might hear it start to adjust. And there it's starting to adjust that, adjust that pressure as we change conditions across, across the plot. What we want to achieve with our closing wheel systems is, of course, close the trench. But we also want to remove any air pockets if we possibly can and shatter any of the compaction that might have occurred from your openers in that trench. So what we're using these, these spiked wheels here is we're actually lifting up that trench a little bit and fracturing that sidewall. And then we're coming in with this, this, this what I'm gonna call a stitch, stitch wheel. We're gonna stitch that seed trench back together and close it shut and surround that seed with soil without any air pockets. Let's take a look at the fast tracks now. These are made by Ag Focus. They're out of Lexington, Illinois, not too far away from here. They utilize a two-stage system, kind of like the furrow force but the blades in the, in the first stage are, are smooth and concave, but they have optional serrated blades as well. And then our back packing wheel is adjustable as far as, as uh, pressure goes up and down, and the same goes with the disc in the, in the middle here. Let's take a look how they're gonna perform in the field. And we're gonna watch these furrow forces in action and it's considerably different versus the solid rubbers. So we're kind of crusty conditions today, but we're moist underneath. Nice, smooth here on top, good closure. I start to dig here. We surround that seed very well. No air pockets. And here's the seed here, about an inch and a half deep. So no air pockets, not much compaction here, nice closure as, as a whole. Now let's go look at the solid rubbers here. Um, a couple passes I flagged out, a few passes back. Where we didn't close the trench. So we're gonna have some issues here. We might still germinate and emerge, but if we don't get any rain, we're gonna, we're gonna be in trouble here. We're, we're pretty well wide open. There's my soybeans right there in the middle. Um, just a poor job. We had a, a good example of having too much pressure. So in this study, we, we run the solid rubbers at the first, second, third, and fourth notch. And this happens to be the fourth notch right here. We've got so much pressure pressing down on that seed trench, we're actually starting to boil that soil back up in between them closing wheels and exposing the trench back to air. So that's exactly what we don't want to do. We've seen with our standard closing wheels, we've seen some nice yield gains with those over the past several years. And we were seeing nice gains with these closing wheel systems as well. Along with the furrow force system, it also maps it. Just like it does your downforce, your singulation, and your population. So if we have some issues with the emergence, we can go back and we can dig, and maybe we can find out maybe with some issues we might have had in the field. All precision planting products were able to map what actually happens out in the field. So this is a study that was planted on May 9th. This study happens to be the furrow force study on corn. And what we're looking at right here is the applied closing force map. You can see here, we've got greater than 65 pounds. We've got 
below five pounds and then 53 to 65 pounds. That's the applied closing force. In that protocol, we had zero pounds of pressure, which are the green. We had 120 pounds of manual pressure, which is the red. And then we had the dark red, sorry. And then we had 35 pounds of automated pressure, which is the bright red. So if we look ahead here, look at the closing wheel margin or the, the closing margin. And we can see as things change out in the field. So the green is what we want. Those are the 35 pound passes. In scouting in the field today, the corn is up. There is a big difference in plant height and vigor with the 35 pounds versus the 125 pounds manuals. That 35 pound being the, the automated. Then we have the closing actuator pressure. So this is the actual pounds that it's putting onto the airbag in the system. Just like downforce, this is row by row control and it senses to make changes very fastly. So it's nice to be able to look and see what uh, happens in the field. I like to watch the margin. If I'm, if I'm using the furrow force, we want to be in that green range. You can see the three passes right there that do happen to be green and have variable pressure. So very cool at the end of the day. Um, the blue means loss of ground contact. So that's our zero pounds of pressure right there, which means we're quite possibly not being able to close the seed trench. Um, and our beam ground, um, I did make a little video of the, the, the furrow force not closing the trench in the zero pounds. It was marginal conditions. As soon as we put that the furrow force system into automated 35 pounds, it did a fantastic job even in marginal conditions. Thanks for listening in. Be interesting to see how this works out when it comes to data this fall.